please welcome award-winning actress Erica Christensen. Hello. I made it back to my chair. You did. I was like, okay, she just needs another minute. It's yeah. fine. I was giving them like the real preview to see if they could guess who it was without you being there and without me introducing you. So that would have been amazing. But no. If anyone knew from the empty chair that it was gonna be me. It's totally fine. Well, I'm so excited for you to share with us your tips. I'm going to leave you to enjoy the stage and I'm going to watch and I can't wait to hear what fire you're going to share with us this evening. Thank you for being here. My pleasure. I love this so much. It's it's uh, kind of amazing. I think that during these strange times, you know, during COVID, all of a sudden there's such a surge of creativity and events like this. And in a way, it's even better because we're all over the country and yet here we are together. So um, I have three things I wanted to talk about tonight. I had to narrow this down, but I think these are all game changers. Uh, the first one is think big and act small. Think big, meaning where are you going? What do you want? Um, and of course, the beauty of that is that it's very personal. You answer that for yourself. Maybe it's already crystal clear, or maybe, you know, I don't mean this strictly for career. I mean this for anything. So, you know, we're talking about our careers and our relationships as girlfriends or wives or parents, um, or even someone in the workplace. And the, the goal that is there for you could be as simple as making people laugh or, you know, I really want to help people that are having a tough time or, um, you know, I want to raise children that are really independent and kind and compassionate um, or whatever it is for you um, that kind of nailing it down. If you, if you take some time to let that, let yourself ponder it if it's not clear for you, because that will allow you to know that you are heading in the right direction, not just kind of doing stuff. And this seems like a good idea and I'm trying and, and whatever, but it, it simplifies the actions that are actually leading you on the path that you want to go or not. And then act small means baby steps, man. If you're trying something and you think this is a really good thing and you want it to be sustainable, you want it to be actually a part of your life, then, uh, then you give yourself opportunities to celebrate along the way and pat yourself on the back instead of going into an overwhelmed, you know, I didn't climb the whole mountain today. I didn't change my life this week, but I reached out to that person that I thought would be a good mentor or I, you know, I managed to do today. I did the thing today. I exercised today. I treated my kids with the patience that I want them to learn <laughs> today. Whatever it is that you did, you bought a book, went on Amazon, bought a book about the thing that you want to learn. Great. You didn't read the whole thing today. It's not even here yet. Don't worry about it. Um, and those things can help you manage the rest of it. Now, I'm, I'm moving on to the next topic. The next topic is take care of yourself. And obviously, self-care is a hot topic. We all know instinctually, like, of course, we have to take care of ourselves. But my comments on that are... Certainly, if you are ill, get care for that. Um, if you know that or if you think you might be ill, I'm not talking about COVID unless that's your situation. I'm just talking about your health. If you actually are ill, go see a doctor. Um, if you haven't gotten enough sleep and you're not nourishing yourself, it's going to be so much harder to deal with anything and everything and to have the extra energy to push yourself through your day. 
And I know this is like basic, basic stuff, but it's life changing when you figure out something for yourself. Now you figure out, you know, everybody's always trying like, I went gluten free or I'm, you know, I don't eat sugar. And I've been doing my whole life. I was like, I don't eat carbs pretty much until recently. I ate carbs like 10 years ago because I was riding my bicycle like, a, like hundreds and hundreds of miles. And so I was like, hey, popping donuts. But finding what works for you um, and being willing to adjust it and not feel like you're failing and just like, just keep looking for it. Even if it's like, this is a simple thing. I love my overnight oats, makes my morning go smoothly. Like, great. You don't have to question that. Grab onto those things that you know work for you and look into sleep hacks if that's a problem. You may need to, if you're waking up hungry, then you need to eat a snack before bed. Or if you're feeling bloated, then you need to eat dinner earlier before bed, not, not later. Um, all those little things like really add up. And I'm speaking also as a parent of two small children, of course, always trying to adjust like, okay, how early can, do I have to go to bed to prepare myself for the possibility of one, one of the girls waking up in the middle of the night and keeping me up for hours and still being able to have a productive day the next day. Um, so th these are things that again, like you look at, how is this going for me? And baby steps. If you wanna change something, if you wanna get up earlier, that's awesome. Maybe you need a nap. You know, if there's something like me, sometimes I indulge in coffee a little too late in the day. And then I, at midnight, I'm like, dang it. This is not the best course of action. I should be asleep by now. Um, all those little things are a big deal because they add up. Um, and of course, exercise. I still have to get to my third topic, but with exercise, think big, act small. All of these think bigs, you can, you can look at examples of people you admire as well. And then you can also just look at your own life. And you know, if you, if you have kids, maybe your fitness goals are just to be able to keep up with them or to be able to haul them around. Um, or, or maybe you're actually, you want to be a fitness model or you want to be a personal trainer or something specific to fitness and you have big goals there and that's awesome. But regardless of what you decide your goals are, even if it's just at this point to feel better, you will feel better. If you make any time for exercise, if you make 10 minutes, I swear it is the best. It just to get your blood moving in the morning. Sometimes I, I like, you know, I pretend I'm someone else. I'm like, oh, I'm in the military. I wake up and do 50 push-ups, you know, <laughs> or just take my kids for a walk, whatever it is. But like any time I can find a way to work that into my life in a little bit, it's wonderful uh, and so valuable for your overall health and, and just keeping you motivated. So the purpose there is to support your health, not to, you know, grind yourself down by overwork at all. And last, this is my last tip. I, I really think this is a big one for balance. When we're talking about relationships and career and uh, learning new things and our own goals and all the things that we can squeeze into a day or a week, be present. And that may take some preparation. Um, but the point is, when you are with your partner or a loved one or kids or whomever, or you are at work or you're on a Zoom call or whatever it is, when you're there, allow yourself to ignore all of your other notifications and be there with 
who else is there and with doing what it is that you're doing. Yeah. And that, that way you don't have to feel guilty about really focusing on what you're doing when you're doing it. Because as a, as a parent, this is a, certainly a big one. It's like, this is work time and this mm -hmm. is work time. And then this is kid time. And I find that the, the difference mentally is enormous. If I dedicate this time to my kids, then, all right, we're doing whatever kids do. Even if it's only 10 minutes, again, these little chunks of time with the right focus can change how you feel and change the outcome hugely. So I go, okay, oh, this is kid time. So we're gonna, yeah, okay, let's play hide and seek. Let's build a fort, let's do it. <laughs> You know, all that yeah. stuff. But if I'm going, this is, this is actually work time, but I'm hanging out with you. Then I'm, then I'm like, it's, there's such a tension there and they don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. You know, they can't, they can't be responsible for my work. So they're just like, mom. <laughs> it's like, they feel like totally confused. They don't understand. They, they feel it. They feel like they're, you yeah. know, having that, that ridge or like, oh, this is a work time. I mean, I feel like your tips were amazing. I actually was like mid writing the last one. I did take them down because I feel like we're just so grateful that you took, you know, 10 minutes out of your day to be present with us and share your knowledge. And you guys, the best news is, is that this incredible being here, Erica has said yes to be a part of our December 6th event. So you got a little sneak peek tonight of what she had to say, but we will have you on for longer, hopefully, if you'll let us. Um, I will. I had to make it concise tonight. So yes. I yes. So thank you for being here again, and we can't wait to catch up with you again on December 6th. These, these tips are very applicable. You're amazing. Thank you. Thank you all. <laughs> Take care of yourself, and then be, be present. Be here. In, in this event <laughs> with us. Yes, while you're here. And then when you're done, be done. On to the next. Totally. Have an amazing night with your kids and family. Thank I you. Will. Thank you. See you soon. See you.